Night three, outside the police headquarters in Brooklyn Centre, Minnesota. A scene and circumstance repeated all too often in the US. Protesters defying a nightly curfew once again, the National Guard deployed. Minnesota State Police advance on protesters after declaring an illegal assembly. The latest cries for justice come in the name of Dante Wright. My nephew was 20 years old. Tell him 20 that. years old. He was loved. Yes. He was ours. The 20-year-old father was shot by a police officer on Sunday. His mother was on the phone to him as police wrestled with her handcuffed son before shooting him in the chest. His girlfriend was in the car and witnessed the shooting. She pointed the phone towards the driver's seat and my son was laying there, unresponsive. My Lord. That was the last time that I seen my son. Kim Potter, a 26-year veteran of the police force, claims she thought she grabbed her taser, not her gun. She's now quit along with the police chief. But the mayor is yet to accept Potter's resignation, leaving the door open to sacking her, which would affect her pension and future employment. I'm going to do absolutely everything in my power to make sure that justice is done. This isn't going to get swept under the rug or anything like that. The Wright family's lawyer says Dante Wright, like George Floyd, was being questioned over a minor offence but paid with his life. I mean, they could have gave him a ticket for that. But when it's black people in America, they engage in the most use of force and it ends up with deadly consequences. The vice president says such deaths will continue to occur if racial bias in policing isn't stamped out. I do want to address the killing of Dante Wright. He should be alive today. We know that folks will keep dying if we don't fully address racial injustice and inequities in our country, from implicit bias to broken systems. The tragedy played out just kilometres away from the Floyd murder trial, bringing two grieving families together. To the Wright family, just letting you all know, from the Floyd family, y'all have our condolences. The world is traumatised watching another Afri African-American man being slain. At least 18 people in the US have been killed over the past two decades after an officer mistakenly used a gun instead of their taser. Virginia Langerberg, SBS World News.